More RAM. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> so I've... download more RAM. <laughs> yeah, I'll just download some more RAM. I'll do that. And uh, I, I've got plenty of RAM, okay? <laughs> My, my computer's kind of a beast. Up. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. If my, if my computer. Six megabytes or oh, gigabytes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, oh, what were we saying about this door? I forget now. <laughs> Keep getting so, sidetracked. Um, yeah. I believe uh, Eric 2, T double O, um, uh, Oma. Uh, did an investigation of a 16 on the door. Yeah, that's right. And he uh, figured out not only that there are no traps that he can see, the other side of the door is a small space. Ah. Okay. And there is a lock, right? There's a lock, yes. Okay. Um, let's try this. Uh, everyone... Back up. Yeah. Uma trips over the kitty. <laughs> kitty backs up too, I assume. Oma? Not oh. Oma, but Oma. I'm in Back a box. Up. I'm in a box. Oh, you're in a box. I'm going to go over beside Avery. Yeah. And I'm going to, uh, uh, Mage Hand! <laughs> That little cool spectral hand you have. Okay. Oh. I'm, I'm going to hand her my sieves tools, so though she's not proficient in it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Eric has it also. Like yeah, I know, but you're in a box. <laughs> in a box. Oh, Lyric. Lyric has it. Lyric too. also has it, yeah. Oh, Lyric yeah. has it as well? Yes. Lyric, uh, yeah, oh, Lyric is, is uh, certainly, definitely a bard. <laughs> We're going to have to like dueling mage hands. Yeah. <laughs> you have so yeah. many mage hands. Yeah. You guys are going to um, have to, like, play Rochambeau yeah. or something. Right. So, uh, well, maybe Lyric wants to try. Would that be okay, Avery? Of course. All right. We'll get her to roll some dice. Uh, oh, mm. well, that's... <laughs> roll <voice>. what? <laughs> <laughs> wrong voice. Um, Why do you want to play games? We're in a dungeon. Yeah, I've got a... <laughs> I have a dice set. Um, uh, so, uh, I'll have uh, Lyric uh, step up to where Avery is, and then they switch spaces. Yep. We play we play games now? Yeah, in a little bit. Game time. And I'm going to ask Lyric to uh, start her mage hand, and I'm going to hand the mage hand my thieves tools, and then I will help um, Lyric, because I'm proficient in thieves tools, to try to pick the lock <laughs> and give her your advantage at the same time. Is that cool? So that's uh, yeah. You're gi you're giving Lyric your thieves tools. Mm-hmm. And also okay, to... yeah, yeah. There's no uh, I'm going there's to no like say... there's no thing where it says that, you know, a bard can't pick locks. Yeah, dude, she just doesn't get the proficient bonus. Yeah, that's uh, right. But, the tools? but it feels like advantage would be more powerful than a proficiency bonus. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, but also uh, I just want to involve the new character <laughs> yeah. in something fun. Oh, mm -hmm. well, they right. say they say actually, it's okay. I can give myself bardic inspiration if that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you say Perfect. That, uh, I, you say advantage is worth plus five. Yeah. Advantage is essentially a plus five. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, awesome. it's way bonus. Yeah. So. Or, um, so yeah, yeah I... so roll roll that with your with your decks um and with advantage. So I guess it's like a dex check. Yeah. So you want me to roll just a straight dex check? Yeah. Um unless you're giving you're... yourself bardic inspiration as well. You can also buff your buff yourself. As you were going to well, that'll uh, that'll that's that's quite impressive, actually, um, for someone who has 
for a newcomer in here who is a bard uh is is starts coming in picking locks instead picking of the rogue locks. yeah and gets a 17 that's great so you're in there and you're uh you're you've you've i don't know if your mage hand is oversized i always imagine that they're oversized <laughs> So, <laughs> so you've got this like oversized hand, um, which is uh, which is purple, I believe. You said your magic uh, was purple. Um, yes. And uh, you get to narrate what your hand looks like. By the way, I know uh, uh, Avery's looks like her own hand, but that is optional. So what do you, what does your mage hand look like? Well, you know, I never really thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess it'll be like it's it, like a music note. I guess you could say it will it would look like a music note, but with fingers. Oh, cool! Know. Yeah. So oh. so this um, this strange round hand uh with a stick and a and a and a flag on the end of it um and these fingers uh take this these tools and they they're they're fiddling around inside the the uh the lock sort of inexpertly at first um so but then, may... then you, you get it uh you get it so that you can can um uh start turning tumblers and stuff um but uh Actually, you cannot unlock the uh, the the door, unfortunately. Even with that, even with that yeah. seventeen. So brain is whispering, oh, not whispering, sort of inner uh, close to her ear, going, "Okay, feel the tumblers, feel it, feel it." Mm -hmm. And I will mumble to myself, "Okay, Eric, you can do this." And, you know, give myself inspiration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. You want another dex check? Yeah, I do. Nine. Uh, no, nineteen actually, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because you have advantage. Um, so uh, it, it. I feel like when you're picking a lock and it takes too long and you have to make another uh, uh, check, it's it's really it's the same, the same instance of you picking the lock. It's just taking you a little while. Right. Um, so, yeah. so you're you're still in in this lock, and you're still turning tumblers. And finally, you turn the final tumbler, and uh, Elma the Great um, can hear uh, a subtle a subtle click. And lyric, you can feel it in your mage hand. That's uh, that this this door has suddenly uh, come loose. Yeah. And it's going to push away. Uh, so so you know. Um, uh. I think I got it, and I'm gonna hand Brain back his tools. Thank you. That was awesome. I really, <laughs> I really like the uh, the Thanks. the music note mage hand. That's cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> if you uh, left it up to me, I had a mantis shrimp in mind. <laughs> Oh, no. It's <laughs> just like a giant mantis shrimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, you, you, like, really put me in the spot with that. I didn't think about it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what do you want to do now that the door is unlocked? Okay, just hang here, guys. Maybe move a little bit further back. I say to all the people close to me. It's, okay. It seems like I El chip over the kitty again. It seems like oh. Elma's pretty secure <laughs> in uh, in his box there. Yeah, he feels yeah. secure there. All right, I'm gonna on walk the up box, on the box. It says "Not a known illusionist." <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, Brain will. Uh, is the box your size? It's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can make it bigger if you want to. No, no, no. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm like sort of t on my tippy toes. I'm looking through the hole going, uh, I'm going to open the door now. <laughs> and come back open down and I'm going to uh, open the door. All right. Uh, you do successfully. Um, and you can see on the other side of this ever deletes. There we go. 
Um, it is uh, what appears to be a ten foot hallway and another door. Uh, this so many door, goddamn doors. I know, I know this. This place is like a maze. Um, yeah. All right, investigation <clears throat> advantage. Yep, I'm coming with you. So, because we're all um, um, right. So, what you're seeing in front of you is a, a wooden door. Uh, the other ones did not have these iron bands across it, uh, the ones in the, the last room, uh, but this one does. So you feel like this one's a little bit stronger, um, and uh, it's not... Uh, from here, you can you can plainly see it, um, just like a few feet away from you, um, and there doesn't seem to be a lock on it. Okay, so 16 on the trap uh, section, I don't find anything. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Alma, just to ask a really uh, uh, interesting question. So, when you is the box sort of like come off the floor as you walk ahead and then it drops back down again? No, I can't no, move. No, it, it, you essentially just pass right through it. I, I checked. It's basically like a like a visual illusion, like CG or something. It just sits there. Okay. Right. So, so, I'll actually di let it dissipate when I, uh, when I leave. I'll just turn it off. Alma. And Yuma. So I got a 16 looking for uh, traps. Looking for traps? Okay. Um, yeah. Let me just roll a few dice for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Uh, so walking ahead of you, uh, you're checking the walls, the floors, the ceilings um, with your, you know, your keen eyes uh, and coming up to the door. Uh, you can see uh, this this door in front of you, uh, and looking through the the keyhole, uh, it's a it's a bigger space on the other side. Um, you don't know how big or anything, but it's uh, um, definitely bigger than this this broom closet. Um, yeah. And uh, looking through the keyhole, you do actually see um, a vertical uh, wire. Um, that is uh, on the other side of the door, just on the other side of the keyhole. Oh, that's a trap. Probably. Trap! I say, I say, lucky for you, I'm the greatest trap finder in the world. There is a wire on the other side of the door. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have mage hand? Of course I do. All right. I'm going to step back over here and around the corner. Uh, <laughs> mage, use your mage hand to cut the wire from the keyhole. I suggest that you move back, though, to do it. Sounds good. And uh, everyone that's uh, right here, you might want to move to the side in case something comes flying down the hallway. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll just I've move to the side to of the before. door. Uh, that's cool. Um, Uma, Uma just wants to stand in the path of any uh, enormous lightning bolts or whatever. Uh, <laughs> just, a random, just a random thing that you set up. Is, stuff, is right? the, hallway, <laughs> the hallway is kind of round-shaped like the door. Yes, it is, for sure. Okay. Uh, larger than the door, though. Uh, all of these uh, hallways are certainly, definitely larger than the doors. Right. Okay. So uh, Elmer will say the last room was quite bland, but I will cast magic hand, hoping that there will be something that will be grand. <laughs> okay, and I cast it. I, I literally made that up as I went along, and it was. <laughs> And then a, a giant Mickey Mouse hand comes out and it's really thin and slides under the door. Okay, so it'll it'll like slip under the door and you're feeling around on the other side. Uh, you can feel that the uh, the walls are rough, right? Um, but you know you can tell that this uh, wire is just on the other side of the door, so you know where to where to press it, and you're you're f touching it so carefully but you can feel it with your hand with your sure. huge begloved hand um 
Yeah. Um, so what do you want to do 13. with this? At 13. Uh, sleight of hand. So what are you doing with it? Playing it like a in, fiddle? In... No, I'm trying to... Um, uh, I'm basically going to activate it. Activate it? Okay, perfect. Um, so uh, you're... you're um, well, how, how, how are you ha activating it? Basically, uh, with my middle finger, I'll curl around it and then pull. Right. And uh, so as you do that, um, you can you hear the um, this this wire just goes ping and it's it's audible even on the other side of the door um, right. and uh, right after that there is a huge uh, boulder crushing sound but oh. it's on the other side of the door oh oh was an oh shattling kaboom yeah and there's even some <laughs> dust that comes in from the from the keyhole and everything i guess that's nice. to crush anybody oh. who steps through the door hopefully there was nobody standing over there and we didn't just kill them <laughs> <laughs> sorry oops <laughs> i don't i don't want this to be all about me does someone else want to open the door some guard forgot that there was a trap above the door <laughs> yeah oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you can open the door if he shouts. <laughs> All right. yeah, you are already over there, so another another Mickey Mouse hand. Okay. Uh, so you grip the uh, the um, the uh, door door handle yeah. and and turn it and pull, but it's it's uh, not oh, it's oh. not coming. Right, and you push, and it doesn't doesn't go. Oh, so it's not. You can tell there's no lock. So unless there's some kind of other lock, or if the door is somehow wedged in it in in its frame, or or whatever oh, it wait. is, something fell on the other side. Right, there might be something blocking it, or. You said looking, it's a wooden door, right? Yeah. Looking at the uh, the frame of the door, you can tell that it's supposed to come in towards you. Oh. Oh, interesting. Right. Um, oh, we'll did start. he push? I tried <laughs> he, both. He tried no. both. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll start blasting away with uh, my cantrip, my flame cantrip. Right. All right, so uh, blast that thing. You want to roll damage? Uh, uh, yeah. Roll, roll your damage for the for the door. Um, two. Uh, so, is this one that is? Uh, it okay. is, is this one that is? It sets fire to things around it. Uh, or no, is, just uh, it just attacks your target, right? Yeah, I think so. It's right. uh, fire bolts. It says, uh, do, do, do. this is when you then fire. It does ignite uh, uh, do, do, do. Flammable, flammable objects. Okay, right? perfect. So. All right, so um, you're hitting it, and this door is scorching, and it's it starts to, uh, like, the, the part where you're you're focusing your fire on starts to um, uh, get some, some, like, flame around it, uh, like in a corona. Um, and uh, you just keep hitting on, hitting it and hitting it, and uh, eventually the door cracks in the middle, and th within that crack uh, is is uh, there there's like some some fresh wood is exposed, and the the flame just just uh, travels across the crack, um, and the door has has just um, has just caught on fire. Okay, um, I'll keep firing at it. Keep firing at yeah. it, and you, uh, you spend, you spend like a good uh, couple minutes or something firing at it, um, which sort of belies the damage. Uh, but uh, you keep you keep hitting it, and um, and uh, it does eventually give way and start buckling, um, and and uh, pushes out enough that you think you could. Uh, you think you could, with a push, with a f like a more physical push, uh, get that thing open? Okay. 
Say, I think we're good now. Oma! Hello. Sorry, no. Wrong. <clears throat> Uma! Uma? Oh, and Bush. Brain. James's brain is. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oma, Uma. Yes. Uh, come and help me get to the door. Oh, okay. Uh, we've checked out the door so we can touch it. It's all good. And I will help her. Because uh, my. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to need to reload my page. Yep. Um, just because it's it's given me some some problems. <clears throat> no worries. Errors and shit. Yep. Loading. Because I have proficiency in athletics. Yo, yeah, great. And so I will help her. Uh, you and you're saying the door opens towards uh, us, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'll help her, like, because um, there's cracks in the door now and stuff like that, so we'll pull all the boards out. Mm -hmm. Is that okay, Amy? Uh, oh, sorry, you're mm -hmm. talking to her. Yeah. It, yeah. You want me to roll athletics? Um. I assume that's what we can do to pull the door open. You know what? Um, you've, uh, Elma has uh, weakened the door enough that uh, any, anyone with profici proficiency in athletics or a great enough strength will just be able to disassemble the door. I have proficiency in athletics. Cool. So you start disassembling the door. It opens up. And there it is. Uh, wonderful. Okay, so what I thought I was dropping there was a rock. It is apparently um, transparent. Pretend it's not transparent. <laughs> I can see it. It's deadly crystal. Yeah. <clears throat> it is still rock. It's just... Yeah. It's sparkly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, just, uh, Wait here, Uma. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna hop up on top of the rock. Right. Boop. And take a peek around. All right. Uh, so looking around, I was just off uh, somewhere else. Uh, yes. I don't know this. It's fucking this lag. I hate it. Um. But anyways, yeah. Uh, so there we are. There is um, you, there is this uh, cube of solid stone uh, right here. Oh yeah, it is not transparent. I was just on the wrong layer. Okay, whatever. Um, and uh, you can see directly to your right there on the west wall, there is a door which is kind of um, half standing. It Well, it's certainly standing up, but half of its uh, um, support has just been blasted. Um, and there's a big hole in the wall. Um, and uh, there, there's not much else in this room. It's, a, it's another spherical room. It's got this rough um, masonry all the way around it. Um, but uh, but it's interesting that there's this this smashed um, kind of uh, space in the wall. Okay. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm just gonna see what I got in my pockets. Second. What else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll use that. <clears throat> So I have a, uh, I picked up a bottle of wine, uh, well, a bottle of something. Yeah. It looks like a wine bottle. It's got a whole bunch of question marks on it. Uh, yeah. I will take that bottle out of my pack. Okay. And I'm going to toss it. Uh, so these are, these aren't pillars or anything, right? No, these they're are, not. They're, they're no. just uh, <clears throat> other smaller masonry yeah. 
style stones. Ag- yeah. uh, again, a, um, a round room, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. It's a. Okay. It's not perfectly spherical, but is as near yeah. to perfect as, as um, you know, a, a stone room can be. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take the the bottle and sort of lean over the edge, and sort of uh, holding it. Uh, not by the uh, by the fatter part of the bottle, and roll it onto the floor so it rolls in front of the door. Right. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, I see yeah, what you're doing. You're, you're, te- te- you're testing for a trap, basically you on betcha. on this like broken broken down door. Yeah. All right. So you do that, um, and the bottle rolls. Clink, 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 clink. Um, and it stops just like, you know, perfectly in front of the door and right under the bottle, there is a, a, a glyph that glows for a second. And then from the ceiling, three magical bolts come, uh, come like, like shooting down and smash oh. this bottle into oblivion. Wow. Oh, my bottle. Oh, oh. oh wow. man. Oh, it's Better a good thing you did that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> good news is, trap. <laughs> oh. uh, I think that's probably good. So uh, I gotta go. Uh, and everyone else, uh, come on in. Don't don't worry, Brain. I'll get you a bottle somewhere. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get some more bottles. <clears throat> All right, so we're all going in now? Yeah, yeah. go on in. And also roll a uh, perception check, all of you. Okay. Oh, I left Spring in the back room. I'll, I'll, I'll bring him forwards. Oh, there we bring go. Bring him forward. Yeah. Right. Ah. Sorry. <clears throat> this was where you rolled the bottle over here? Uh, uh, yeah, it came. Yeah. It was like right about And... Uh, it seems like um, somebody should be able to see this. So uh, we'll say um, Elma can directly see this just a little bit of uh, something moving down the hallway uh, th- through the blasted area in the wall. Um, and it's uh, the rest of you can hear the telltale sign, uh, the telltale uh, uh, sound of that, you know, chalk rustling together uh, of bones moving. Uh, yeah. Right. So, Elma, what you see is uh, a skeleton. An animated skeleton. An animated it's skeleton. skeleton. Yes, it is an animated skeleton for sure. I keep- Moving he's gonna, around he's gonna, like it was alive. He's gonna pull his little um, ring uh, scope out and slide it over his finger. He says, "Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting skeletons." <laughs> I like how you, I like how you tell tell people where the thing is. <laughs> um, all right, so now stop moving. Uh, stop. El- Elma's got to move back because we are going to uh, roll for initiative. <gasps> If somebody Ooh. wasn't quiet. Wait. Uh, well, we smashed Avery, you. natural 20. Nice. Woo. Alma, natural one. She's busy <laughs> saying hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Uma. Hi, I'm Uma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I so uh, I think we're missing spring. Yeah, what are we doing? We're rolling. Rolling for initiative. Okay, so my, we, we smashed a boulder the size of a water deep apartment. So D twenty plus uh, two, I think that was. You weren't quiet. I believe. I can check, check that. Uh, uh, that's what I have. Yeah, plus two. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, so seven. Uh, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna put you in there, and then uh, hit seven, and then we will uh, order descendingly. 
so it looks like Avery and Elma are at the top. Uh, Spring and Uma. Oh, well, magical. <laughs> Spring and Uma are at the bottom, and everybody else yeah. is in the middle. Okay. So, uh, Avery, you've just been um, told in a fairly comical way that there are uh, animated skeletons off yonder. Okay, I can kind of see one. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to move a little bit. Right. Let roll 20 load. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Not only is the map fairly big, but also this lag is, a, is an issue. Causing problems. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I'm trying to find a, a clean shot. So I think uh, it goes better here. I'm gonna try to fire a firebolt towards the skeleton. Right there, there will be, I believe, some uh, like partial cover. Oh, yeah, right. that's that's partial you know cover. You know what I'll do instead? Um, I will create a bonfire under him. Okay. Yeah, you and sure. that fire. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's the fire. <laughs> uh, let me get the fire token. Yeah, we've already got fire. Yep. Get this fire token, and it's not there, but I will expand it, and it, you want it to be right underneath this guy. Yep. And uh, and that is totally possible. I'm just gonna like center it on him just for ease, um, instead of having it land where you can see. Um, and it needs to go to the back. There we go. So he is on fire. Um, and that is seven fire damage. Uh, he'll need to make a deck save and if and, he fails. And a deck save. Oh, all right. Okay. So, uh, hold on. Oh, he needs to make a deck save before he gets hit with it. Yes. Right. Okay. So let me do that. Bloop. Uh, Seventeen makes it. He makes oh. it, so he'll take so... none because it's a cantrip. Right. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah. Um, so he's got a chance to move move out of the fire, and but he gets hit on, on the beginning of his turn, right? No, he doesn't get a chance to move out of it, but um, if he ends his turn in the fire, then he'll... Ends his damage. turn in the fire. Okay, perfect. Yep. So All right. um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend the rest of my movement to um, run behind this rock and hunker. Okay. I'm not getting hit again. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so uh, we'll move... Uh, move on and Elma the Great, uh, the the one who who vocalized that what these things were, can uh, yeah. can for sure uh, go now. He says pew pew pew. <laughs> twenty three, twenty three will hit for sure. Oh, and yeah. what is this exactly? The firebolt. The can... firebolt, of course, yes. Firebolt. Ten points. And uh, let me just look. Okay. Um, that's seven damage, and that yeah, that'll uh, that'll hit him for sure. Um, so he may be a scary. He says he may be a scary skeleton, but now he is nothing but melaton. <laughs> melaton. Melt mel melting. Melting. Oh God. Melting. Your your uh, your accent is quite thick. <laughs> it is. I don't even know what I said either. Uh, fuck. All right. So you've uh, moved a little bit. You've got off a a, a firebolt. Is there anything else? And uh, I'll, I guess I will move back. Okay. Cool. All right, it is now um, this skeleton's turn. He gets a chance to move out of the uh, uh, fire. Um, yeah. And he's laughing in his way uh, as he does. He's sort of chattering his teeth. Um, and he can't 
can't get to uh, to you, but he's still gonna move towards you. Um, uh, Elma. So that's as far as he can go and still attack. Um, and uh, I think he's gonna hit Brain. You know what? I'm gonna make a roll for who he hits, Lyric or Brain. Um, and that would be Brain. So, Aha! so you, you've fallen into my trap. <laughs> yep. Um, he, uh, <laughs> yeah. he he's got he's got a weapon. Like all skeleton, all of these skeletons have weapons, right? Um, this one has a short sword, um, so, which he swings at uh, at Brain, and uh, probably hits. Ah! Ow! Ow! <laughs> for four damage, slashing. Yeah. Well, I'm immune to slashing. Oh. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a goblin. I'm, I'm immune to slashing. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that will be the end of the skeleton's turn. Uh, Lyric, it is your turn. So presumably I'm too far away also to uh, protect him. Uh, yeah, yeah. You are kind of in the back. Um, yeah. if, if your party is facing the skeletons, you're definitely in the back. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, they're, they're off to the west. You are on the easternmost side of your party. Uh, so it is Lyric's turn. Um, I'm gonna use Vicious Mockery on it, and I'm gonna call the skeleton stupid, because it has no brain or body. Right. Uh, so vicious mockery. Okay. Um, let me just look at it. Cool. Make sure it's not like immune to vicious mockery or something. No, for sure, no. Psychic damage. Yeah. Um. And uh, so it'll one, need a wisdom could, save. One could argue it has no brain matter left to take psychic damage. But... Yeah. No, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're definitely but it thin still skin. has its pride. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can take away my skin, my flesh, <laughs> and my brain, and everything about yeah, me, but I've pride. still got my pride. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, uh, well, they're thin skinned. They're uh, it made the wisdom save. So does that mean it takes half damage? I think it does not. Right. I don't think it takes damage. No, I don't it, think so. It takes some damage. It's also a cantrip. So, do you do you have a um do you have a uh a, a mockery prepared? I do not. Okay. So, so you flip it the bird. Um and it kind of copies you a little bit. Um I really but, hate that. but it's looking at its it's it's uh its finger like what? <laughs> Um, so, uh, I don't know if you want to move at all. If you move away, you're going to incur, uh, a reaction against you. I do want to move away, but okay. I cannot. But okay. I won't. <laughs> Sorry? I won't. I, I want to move away, but I won't. Right, okay. Because you don't want to get hit. Right. Okay, so, uh, we've got, uh, one more. Uh, skeleton, at least, coming in. Uh, and it's going to stop here. Um, Damn, party crashers. Ooh. Oh. Mm, no, that's right. Uh, so, oh, and this one that's right up against you, it's a little bit different from all of the other uh, skeletons that you have seen before. Um, all of its bones have like these, like these growths on it. And it's they're like bone mass growths, uh, and and they kind of look like uh, like pimples um, because there's a little hole in it, and there's some like li like some some uh, some black ichor like just oozing very slowly out of these these uh, these holes. And as this one uh, approaches from from down the hallway, you can see that that one also uh, uh, is is oh. suffering from this bone disease or or whatever this is. 
Um, and it's uh, what it does is it uh, uh, has a short bow. This one, they all have short bows and short swords. They uh, they have standard weapons because they have a different thing. Um, oh, but uh, uh, this one is going to fire at one of the people that it can see. Um, well, one, two, three, four. It can see four people well. And that will be Lyric that it's uh, trying to attack. So, here comes the short bow. Uh, with a 13, does that hit you? Just, yeah, that's my armor Just class. barely, eh? <laughs> okay, so, bonk, six damage. Jeez. Cool. <laughs> Slap. Now you have two two hit points left. Good lord. Oh, yeah. Um. So Ouch. that is that is its turn. I should have just took the opportunity attack. <laughs> <laughs> you could maybe could have gone to hide. Uh. So here comes another skeleton. How uh, many are there now? Three. There are now three. Um. They're okay. shambling down the hallway. If you are uh. Um, looking at the turn order, uh, you can see that there are four entries for skeletons. Um, but your party only sees three right now. This one moves into uh, more of an advantageous spot. It has, again, these, these growths on it. Um, and it can see... Uh, some... It can see one, two, three, four, five... Uh, five people. I have a d5 that I'm going to roll. Do you um, have a d5? Yep. <laughs> and that would be Uma. You are getting a, a short bow, possibly. What does a d5 look like? It looks like a triangular prism that is quite short. I can, I can like, show you a picture of that. Um, yeah, I'd love to see it. Uh, and that 18, a... that probably hits, eh? It's a D6 with a with one removed. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so an 18 hits, right? Yes. Yes, I thought so. Uh, and that is going to be six piercing damage. Oh my! Oh. All right. Uh, and that is going to be its turn. Kushi. Uh, it is your turn now. You are sort of, are you are you on top of the rock or are you uh, sort of behind the rock? I, I guess S sort of squished between rock and the a and and the rock and Avery. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Kind of just beside it, I guess. Right. Um. I will slide in between Uma and Lyric and attack this skeleton. Right. My spear. <clears throat> Ooh, a fifth. Yeah, 15 hits. Nice. Five piercing damage. With five piercing damage. Oof. Uh, it is not dead, um, but it is quite harmed. Um, you have managed to knock uh, one of its, one of its, like you've crushed the shoulder of it and one of its arms just fell down onto the ground oh. and uh as you did that there was a um there was a squirt from from one of the uh the the pieces of bone that you hit this this black ichor comes splashing out uh from inside of the bone as if it were oh. filled with it like marrow mm. um and uh so you'll make a uh, uh, dexterity oh, nasty. save. Oh, yeah, uh, now you have to get out of the path of, of the uh, core of death. Yeah, of 13. So not terribly difficult, but uh, oh yeah, you make it. No so you've, you've managed to avoid the splash. Uh, the ichor falls harmlessly to the ground, and uh, it is now uh, I guess I, I don't know if you're going to do anything else. You oh you have another attack too. Uh yeah, I'll use my bonus action to uh, a 
attack it with an unarmed strike. Right. And we'll give it a good swift kick to the ribs. Mm -hmm. And a 20 hits. And For five... five damage. Five damage. Yep, that will uh, that will uh, down it, um, and you've uh, you've managed to kill it. Uh, but again, this big splash of ichor comes out, and you'll need to make a dex save of thirteen. Twenty five. So that was right, you were expecting yeah. it that time, and uh, <laughs> you managed to uh, dodge it even I'm, before. I'm like, yeah, even. Even before uh, it's uh, it's it starts spurting out at you, you manage to assess where it's going to be and just be where it is not. Um, I, have a plus, I have a plus five to my decks. Mm -hmm. Like that's my thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, not going to get hit by little acid splashes here. <clears throat> so there is another skeleton. Uh, that comes comes around the corner. Uh, Spring cannot see this one. Avery cannot see it. Lyric can probably barely see it, um, mm -hmm. and the rest of you can can plainly see it. Um, and it is also going to shoot a uh, short bow at oh. uh, at who can it see plainly? It can see probably Uma and Elma the best. Um, so that's uh, that's going to be a D2. Uh, that is Uma. Um, it's ah. going to fire at. Boink. 20. That oh. hits. And mm -hmm. damage, please. There it is. What do we got? Four. Four damage. Four piercing damage. I am Uma. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you, you reach out to shake its hand and it fires an arrow at you. <laughs> Damn it. And uh, so it is now Brain's turn. Skeletons! <laughs> all happens at the same time. And they all, they all <laughs> startle and look at you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so Brain is going to do his thing. So uh, this door here, yeah, is it like? I I want to try to hide behind it. Is what I want to try. To yeah, do. that's fine. There's there's um the door is there. Uh, it is um uh, closed. Um, there is part of the wall is still like barely hanging on to it. Uh, so yeah, you can definitely duck behind it and uh, use use the hide action. Okay. Do what I do. Mm -hmm. Do the rogue thing. Alright, uh, okay. real quick. Stealth away. Huzzah! A nine! A nine. Alright, so... Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, when you yeah. fire... Now, I'll, I'll just uh, roll... Because you're only attacking one of them, right? Yeah. You can only attack one of them. So I'll roll a generalized wisdom check, and it will apply to the one you attack. Okay, so I'm gonna attack this one. Okay, perfect. And I step here so I can see him. Right, and uh, he rolled a an eleven. So um, he sees me. So he sees you, so you don't get your advantage. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Crespo, huzzah! Bonk. A seven. Seven does not hit. He shifts out of the way. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I will then. Bonus action that one. Da, 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 da. Okay, so five, ten. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> there. Are you, are you making an arrow dancing around? Uh, I'm something? making an arrow thingy just to see where yeah. I can get to. Right. Um, is what I want to do. Actually, no, I'm going to do it this way. Sorry, oops, that was not me. So I moved <laughs> five. To, uh, uh, I moved. Oops, I moved five to here, right? Yep. And, and then, then five. So back. what I'm going to do? Yeah. Uh, so uh, five over there. Sorry, 
uh, bad You've moved here. Ten, 10 feet so far. I've moved 10 feet. So I'm going to scooch up to here. Boom. I'm there. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I'm standing in front of, uh, I see Lyric bleeding from places that uh, she has holes in her now that shouldn't, where holes shouldn't be. Right. Yep. Um, and subsequently, I will uh, place myself in front of our new friend. Right. Don't worry, Lyric. I got you. As I wave my arms you. around, <laughs> waving my arms around and stuff like that. All right. So uh, that was Brain's turn. It is now Spring's yep. turn. Uh, you are at the back of the party. The party okay. is fighting on the threshold of this blasted part of the wall. There are, you can see two skeletons clearly on the other side, um, and you get from the movements and, and firing of, of arrows that uh, there is uh, another one back there as well. One of them is dead. The one that deigned to venture too close uh, yeah. is, is now dead. Those three of these bastards... And can I um can I reach uh Lyric? Uh you can reach Lyric, yes. Okay, so I will cast um Cure Wounds. Mm hmm Because I think uh yeah, so what I have to do uh, uh Cure Wounds, what is the um, formula for D8? that? D eight. D eight plus spell modifier. Right, okay. Casting modifier, which is based on charisma for me. Yeah, which is two? Uh, which is plus two. Mm -hmm. So I'm just looking for my dice roller. Right. First time I've actually had to use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay. I'm looking for a D8. Okay, uh, six. Six damage. Oh, that means, that means, wow. yeah, that means, uh, Lyric, you were gained six, you gained six hit points, I guess. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. That, Thank that you. was, that was exactly what she was hit for, too. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so, uh, did you, you moved, um, one, two, 15 feet. You still have, uh, 15 feet of normal movement. You can use your uh, your extra movement as well as a tabaxi. Um, uh, you are still like Avery's behind you now, but you are you are in the the back row of of uh, of people of your party. Okay. Lyric uh... is in front of you. Kushi's in front of you, and Brain's way out in front. Can I make a, a range attack? Uh, n I don't think so. You've got your, uh, you use Cure Wounds, which is an action. Um, right, okay. I'm, I'm asking you if you want to move. Okay, so uh, I guess so. I will, uh, I guess so. I will move, uh, I guess, closest to one of these, uh, Skeletal enemies that I can yeah you can get right up to uh, the the two that are uh, in a row on the other side of the blasted doors. Okay. You can so you can also be move... five feet away from them if you want. Right. Okay. So I will move to within uh, within a few feet of those two. Right. Okay. So next attack. Yeah. There's five feet between you and the skeletons. Um, you are right beside Brain. You're both out in front. Um, okay, perfect. Yeah, and uh, so yeah. so there we are. I guess that's your turn, right? Yeah. All right. So it is now Uma's turn. You have been hit twice, Uma. Uma will retract her hand. <laughs> oh. yeah. That's what you get for being friendly to strangers. <laughs> it's like you had you had this impulse, and it was such a nice impulse. So good. Move up, move up to here and that rage. makes me angry. She she will rage. Right. And um. So Uma's swing. pushed ahead of you, Spring, and is so angry. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. That's my, my, minus one for the strength. Dream. Right, yeah. So 14 will hit. And it's... Uh, which one were you hitting? This one or the... the yeah, one? the one right in front of me. Okay, perfect. Uh, t 10 slashing damage. Oof. Oh, uh, plus... Plus two, I forgot to plus add the rage, the two, rage damage. Right, so this, you have uh, basically sheared off uh, a bunch of ribs and one of its arms. Yeah. It was its sword arm, I'm going to say. Oh, um, okay. And uh, so the, the, the arm with the sword is laying on the ground now. Um, and uh, you need to make a dex save. Uh, of okay. 13. Well, that doesn't make it. And oh. uh, you are going to take... Uh, what is that? That is 5... Uh, no, that's... T uh, I was rolling the wrong uh, combination of dice. Uh, uh, it is, D5 again? Uh, no, I was rolling 2d6 and I was realizing after I rolled it that... 12 would basically <laughs> that's a sh that's too much damage um so uh you take three poison damage okay poison all right and uh uma do you have anything else you'd like to do she just uh snarls no shooting <laughs> 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 and we are back at the top of the round with Avery. Do you are you still right. concentrating on your fire? Concentrate your uh, fire. No, I'm gonna break concentration on my fire. Okay. Don't concentrate your fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to peek out from behind my rock mm -hmm. and I, I saw Uma come over to this guy here and hit him pretty hard. Mm -hmm. So I am going to fire a firebolt at that one. Pew! All right. 11. Uh, that unfortunately does not hit. I go back to my hiding spot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the second fire-based attack uh, has, has uh, landed without any, any damage. Uh, oh, all of my attacks are fire based. Yeah, I made sure of yeah, it. Of course. <laughs> I hope we don't fight things with fire resistance. <laughs> that would suck. And it is now Elma's turn. All right. Uh, so this area right here is open, right? Or is that a door? That is a door. It is a closed is door. It? Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, so I guess the way this. Oh, actually, I can move right here, huh? Am I staying in, in Ekor? Uh, you. Uh, there is some on the floor, but you can you can step over it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then um, and this one's her, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. All right. Say. So, um, He's, he, he's he's come right up to spring and he's like s standing um like jarringly close all right um annoying skeleton shooting bile soon you shall be a skeleton a, a bone pile <laughs> right, i'm making this up as i go along so i'm kind of stumbling on it all right <laughs> yeah no it's yeah. good i love it eight oh, oh. Uh, whoops is it just a bad roll whoops <laughs> yeah, okay, just roll <laughs> okay so yeah that's uh that is just an eight um and it's it goes goes wild um and uh i don't know if you can grab your token from underneath spring there to move oh, oh is that what happened yeah he moved right into your token oh. uh space to uh to fire that off uh oh. can you grab it elma oh sorry Oh, oh, I didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> They're like oh, somehow. Uh, yeah, but you you would need. To, it's fine to move into the space like that, but you'd need to move out of it afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Uh, do you have anything? Uh, anything else you wanted to do? 
Um, I say, how could I miss? How could I miss? He's like looking at his look at his hands, like he's flabbergasted. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, uh, it is Lyric's turn now. Um, I am going to uh, Bane, uh, cast Bane. Mm -hmm. Bane. So yeah, so I I need a charisma saving throw DC thirteen. Oh. Okay. Uh, um, which one are you casting it? All three of them. It could, oh, all three on. of them. Nice. I'm trying to. I'm trying to post it oh, in. All right. Hold on. It's... Bane. Up to three creatures of your choice. Uh, must make charisma oh. saving throws. If the target fails, um, um, fails a saving throw, uh, makes an attack roll or a saving throw. Before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract that. Okay. Um, so, that's going to be three wisdom. Uh, sorry, charisma. Yeah, charisma saving throw. Savings 13. throws, which is right there. That's one eight, one nope. failure. That is nope. two failures. And that is three Woo! failures. Jeez. Oh, okay, so I'm sweet gonna, bane. Um, gonna. How do I? Which one can I use? Let me see. I'm going to use this one here. This sleepy dude. They're not sleepy, but they're uh, they're bane. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, would you like to do anything else? Uh, yeah, we'll move back by yeah. evening. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Sweet. Um, and what was the name of that? What was the name of that spell you were casting? That was Bane. Bane. Okay, I'm gonna look that one up. The opposite of black. Now I have the huge list of spells in front of me, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, cool shit. Uh, so, and how long does that last for? Just the next attack? Is concentration up to one minute. Oh, wow. Oh, right. Whenever that target fails, yeah. It doesn't get another saving throw against it. It just lasts until... It just lasts a whole minute. Jesus. Okay. Yep. Or, you All know, right. Damage, which is why I'm hiding. So this, uh, this, this dude here, um, just so, sort of kitty corner with with Uma, uh, is going to try to hmm, hold on. Actually, it's it's might might move forwards. Uh, Come it's, on! It's going skeleton. to move forwards, and it's going to attack. Yes, Uma. Um, <laughs> uh, I was make not to not to be evil, yep. but I was making like I was jumping up and down and making a lot, of a, lo a lot of noise. Oh, you were! Well, I, I was I was trying to entice it to try to go after me. Right. So it is going to do that then. So and, and was that the um, your your thing, greater aid or whatever it's called? Well, no. I, I, when I stepped in front of Lyric mm -hmm. on the end of my last turn, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not sure if it's free action, but I was trying to like be a lot of like interference so that it would come be towards me, not noisy. towards anybody else. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, uh, adjusting adjusting the stats for uh for I'm gonna make a, another roll. Okay. We'll call it with we'll call it disadvantage. Um, and it does actually want to attack you. So there we go. Excellent. Wow. Um, this was my this was my thought. Yep. Uh, so it's brandishes uh, its its short sword. This is not the one that had the short sword uh, knocked out of its arms. Uh, and attacks for not wait no wait wait, wait twenty minus a d four. Yeah, oh. it's gonna hit me regardless. So go ahead. okay. Well, <laughs> it was six, sixteen. Okay, all right, and boom, five damage, five slashing damage, or is it piercing? 
for short ah. sword. I forget. Uh, piercing. Uh, piercing, yes. Yeah. I'm immune to piercing. <laughs> of course you are. Piercing. And slashing. Yeah. And blood. And slashing. Yeah. <laughs> and all of the yeah. elemental ones. <laughs> Everything. Uh, so that is that one's turn. Um, This one... This one with one hit point. It is so, so dumb. Um, But it's going to try and hit Uma. Uh, It will... Uh, use its short no it can't use its short sword um, it's going oh, to use oh. its short bow oh, oh. Uh, which is the same modifier but it's it's with disadvantage so a 6 doesn't hit mm-hmm. oh, man it needs two hands to use its short bow <laughs> <laughs> it does it, it lashes out and tries to punch you um with with its zero modifier um and uh and a 12 does not hit you yeah all right so it's lashes out and does not hit you uh and it is now and it can't move any farther forwards even though it wants to just crush into this this series of bodies um, and, uh, it's Kushi's turn. Indeed. Oh. I will. Is the one... Um, well, I guess brain is beside it, so it doesn't really matter whether it sprays, uh... Does it look like the same one? Like, have the same kind of weird... Yeah, Black. they all have this uh this these strange gr- slimy growths all over them. Okay. Uh well in that case, let me try something a little different. Um I can see this one over here still, mm-hmm. right? I will draw my short bow and fire at it from a distance. Try yep. to take it out before it sprays nasty black ichor all over us. Yep. So I'll fire with that. Oh, a thirteen just hits. Ooh. There you go. Uh, six piercing damage, and uh, and you can see that there is uh, some some goop that sort of splatters and falls on the floor as it as it uh, gets hit and uh, sort of <laughs> gets knocked back a little bit, but it's much too far away for it, that to be of any uh, uh, yeah. danger. Okay. Um, stand back, brain. I will shed a warning, and uh, that will be all because I can't do a bonus. Yeah. Armed attack. Yeah. Do you, you know the um the switch game arms? You need you need to invest in some extend in extensible uh boxing <laughs> yes. glove arms. We all need to invest yeah. in something like that. <laughs> Every one of us. I need my, I need my go-go gadget arms. Yeah, punch. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is a deep cut. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, it is now the skeleton's turn. Oh, I assume... I didn't know if you wanted to move or not, actually. Um, No, I'm... You're going to stay I'm there. Good worry. Okay. It is now this skeleton's turn. It's, uh, it's not... I don't think it's smart enough to stand back and fire, so it's just going to go up as far as it can uh, and start start trying to uh, pierce uh, Uma's tough flesh uh, with its short sword. Um, This is going to be minus a d4, but it's missed already, so uh, (laughs) it comes at you and misses. Uma. Yay. It is now Brain's turn. Ah! I said no shooting. (laughs) What? I wasn't shooting. That was the skeleton's voice. (laughs) Um, When looking at these skeletons, which one is taking the most damage? Uh, definitely this one in front of Uma, the, that has had its, uh, arm sheared off and is trying to punch her. All right. 
So. <laughs> Hmm. And just for my later on thing that I want to do, mm -hmm. um, which of the other two are more damaged? Uh, the one that's sort of in the back here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Great. So uh, I can move into another. Uh, I can move through another creature's space. Correct. Um, another allied creature. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I want to move to here. Right. Um, and stab this one. Yeah. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, for sure. Um, you okay. would have to move out of that space as well. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'll definitely be doing that. Okay. So I'm going to sort of uh, sneak up sort of just on the side of Uma, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, my rapier in my hand mm -hmm. and stab through. Yep. Die, motherfucker, die. Yeah. Was, wasn't that an Ice Cube song? <laughs> that motherfucker ice Tea, I Trippy. think, maybe? It might Possibly. have been an Ice Tea song. <laughs> 18 will probably 18 hit. hits, yes. Yeah, four. Right. Oh, way too much damage. Lots. Oh, wait a sec, no. It's, uh, it's uh, 11 points of damage. Yes, because, that's uh, right. It would be with Sneak Attack because uh, Uma is right next to it. Right, so uh, you manage to down this uh, skeleton, mm -hmm. um, and it begins, uh, it falls down and sprays a bunch of, of ichor everywhere, yeah. and yeah. since you and Uma are both technically up uh, in the yeah. same space, you're both ha going to have to roll, but yep. all at the same time, there is... Uh, how how do I say this? There's there's you you and Uma represent a wall of flesh, so any particular drop it droplet uh, won't necessarily. It's going to be harder for it to land on either one of you, um, prob probability wise. Um, okay. So you're both going to roll with advantage. Ooh, excellent. Um, and make a oh god. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my Both of you. Oh, we're so, as, we're, as we're trying to move out of the way, we both sort of entangle in each other. Yep. This was supposed to be advantage, not disadvantage. <laughs> All right. Um, so you're both going to get splashed. Uh, Uma for one damage. Uh, and, uh, and Snail Brain for six. Woo! You got a whole bunch of it all over you. Yeah. No worries. So, mm, so I need to now move. And so, yeah, I'm going to take an opportunity. Yep, that's true. Yep. So no it's... matter what I do, I'm going to take an opportunity. Attack. Yeah. So. And uh, that is an 18. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. And minus, that hits for sure. Minus the D4. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, minus a D4. D4. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's still going to hit. Oh, really? Yeah. I got a 14 hour fight. Crap forever. Right. I need leather. Yeah, it I was need, 16 anyways. I need, I need studded leather armor. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, two more. Uh, right. So, uh, that is... is that right? Sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, 14, I was actually eight. subtracting that from the 18. Uh, eight damage, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh wow, that really hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I have a hit point left. But that's okay. And you oh, can at man. least move away now. Um, no, because I'm doing something different. So, oh, okay. uh, I say to Uma, "Is my bonus action? I'm going to help her." And I point at the one right in front of me and go, "Kick its ass!" <laughs> So you now have advantage on your attack on this one. You, but you can't end your turn there. Yeah, where I can end my turn there because it's on top of a a dead thingy. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me just move that so we can oh, all you're, see you. You're, right. You're over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you are. I didn't. I didn't see where you moved because I, I thought you were still on Uma Square. Yeah. To me, you were underneath the token. Oh. And oh, I. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that's fine. Um, I'm here. Okay. Perfect. Um, and actually, you haven't actually left zone of control for anybody, so put oh, eight, no, eight points back oh. on there. 
I didn't actually. Put eight yeah, points so, back on there. Yeah. I was going to actually move to here, and that's why I, okay. I said that. Okay, cool. Yeah, yay! Looking at this one page, there's, it's basically like you can move into a um, a space, an mm-hmm. allied space. It's difficult terrain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it, it, you have to do whatever you can to move out of it. You must attempt to move out of it. Mm-hmm. At the end of the turn, yep. there's a weird kind of edge case where allies could grapple each other, and one guy says he's not, he's unwilling to be grappled, and so then it becomes a grapple contest where right. you're like holding on to your ally who's in the same yeah. space as you. It's kind of a weird, yeah. a weird right. thing that games would have to decide what's going on. And then That's the last, funny. the last thing that's kind of just a, a funny addendum. Is the rules do not state a limit of the number of creatures in a space because the five E rules are not a physics engine. Yeah. Which could lead to like ridiculous. So if you're all <laughs> grappling each other, you could just be a cloud with like fists and hands coming out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Group yeah. hug. You could basically have like a you know hired army running through a teleportation circle or like weird like stacks of creatures. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's weird. That is so weird. That's weird. <laughs> because they don't but, um, specify. Like DMs would have to describe what's reasonable in a you know <laughs> five foot space. Yeah. <laughs> How many people can you get in a Volkswagen kind of thing? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but I will uh, <clears throat> end my turn there. Right. And and you were giving Uma. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what so, was it? Advantage. Yeah. So the idea being is I can, um, uh, yeah. So can, I like, give the help action. Yeah. To a creature that she goes to attack within five feet of her. Yeah. Right. Uh, as cool. a bonus action. Can it be so, either of those creatures, or does it have to be a specific one? Uh, it sort of says that you have to indicate which one. Right. So yeah. you're you're indicating this this one that's sort of in the back. I'm going to point. Um, so, so, so it'll be okay. Can an ally in attacking a creature, the target of the, that creature, can be within thirty feet of you. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the idea being is, I, I'm pointing. So it doesn't actually say that, but I'm pointing at that creature specifically. Yeah. To give yeah. her advantage on yeah. that creature, okay. you have to pick a, a creature. Yeah. All right. Right. Um, it is now Spring's turn. Uh, there is a uh, there is a uh, skeleton within five feet of you uh, in your immediate uh, threat zone. Uh, okay. S- so you can like swing your weapon or whatever. You want uh, to do. This skeleton that's near me is mm-hmm. it like damaged at all? It is not. It is quite. Well, I'm not gonna say healthy, but it is. Uh, it's got all of its HP. It's in good shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For a bunch of bones. Yeah, exactly. Okay. For a bunch yeah. of like oozing, diseased yeah. bones. Okay. Well, since it's not really damaged, uh, I'm kind of worried about what's gonna happen with the rest of the party if this lasts too much longer. Uh, I am going to. Uh, okay, so. I'm going to do this. I'm going to cast Thunderous Smite. And uh, mm. this spell is a little bit strange. So yeah, maybe okay. maybe if you want to read the... If you have them handy. Because I right. want to make sure I don't screw it up. <laughs> I believe that's a bonus action when you hit. Uh, it is. Yeah. It is. and But so, I have to hit, I think, in order yeah. for it to actually yeah. do anything. Yeah, you can. So you can try to hit the creature. If you hit it, then you can cast that as a bonus action, and then it does its thing. Yeah. So you, you don't miss. have to cast it first. You can cast yeah. it after. Yeah. I can cast. Oh, so I, I. Oh, okay. So if I don't hit, you don't spend the spell slot. <clears throat> Interesting. It would seem like it would seem like it would be a pretty instantaneous thing. Like I would have to well, make a decision to cast it before I hit, but I don't know. Uh, my thought process, because I would play a paladin in a different game, is the idea when when the arrow or whatever hits it, then yeah. you call your god's power down onto it. Okay, makes sense. All right, so first I'll roll to attack uh, with my hand axe because okay. I'm in close. Yep, and it has to be a melee weapon. So, all right. Yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, sixteen plus proficiency. 
plus uh wait okay plus four so mm -hmm. that gives me a total of 20 i'm assuming 20 that... hits yep yeah so, so roll that damage say, uh for the axe and then uh right, okay. and then you can then do the thunder smite damage? uh sorry what's this a d6 uh the d6? hand axe i believe is a d6 yes <clears throat> D6. Yeah, yes. yeah, there it is. Okay. So. Alright, so uh damage roll nothing gets added to that, right? Uh, uh should be your yep. strength modifier. Oh. Okay. Because so you're, in that case yeah. uh, it's plus two. So mm -hmm. five. Nice. Uh so uh, five damage and say uh, before oh, before we do that, I would like you yeah. to make a dex saving throw. A what saving throw? A de dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. Uh, because uh, as you hit it, it all of this. Uh, well, if it happens, it's gonna happen instantaneously. So roll your your uh, your thunderous smite damage as well. Okay. Uh, two D eight. Right, so <laughs> so uh, I they, believe it's two D six. Um, right. So by the glory of the light and the power and harmony of the music of the spears, I summon thunder. <laughs> and so, okay, now I roll two d six. What's the rolling here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I'm. Okay, so that's a four and a six. Holy oh, shit. nice. Uh, ten. Ten. So there's a massive thunderbolt as my weapon strikes, and everybody is completely deafened for 300 feet. <laughs> yep. For some reason. <laughs> what? And, and now the creature happens to it now. Uh, uh, it either gets thrown across the room, or... It's it has definitely been blown uh, partly down the hallway, um, and uh, in in doing so, though it does splash some of that uh, that ichor. Um, so you are still going to need to make a, a dex uh, savings throw of thirteen okay. or greater to avoid that. All right, so that's a d twenty plus dexterity modifier. Yeah, and if you right. have, I don't know if you have a uh, uh, proficiency in that that one or not. I should. Uh, uh, let me just look. Wait, where are you? Dexterity is paladin now. Um, no, you do not have. Uh, uh, no. No, you have proficiency in your wisdom and charisma saving throws. Oh, okay. I thought. Okay, well, I'm sure you're right. I got confused when I was writing stuff down, I guess. Mm. Anyway, um, that's fine, because I rolled a 19. Uh, yeah, no, perfect. That's uh, So this thing uh, goes flying across, like, down the hallway. Um, and uh, is there any, any, any special narrative that you want to... Uh, it also uh, gets knocked that? prone. Uh, I don't know. How damaged is it? How it, damaged is it, it going to be? It flies it's... apart. Oh. It totally so flies they, apart. So there's a, a clang as the axe strikes bone, and then there's this huge thunder crash, and the creature is lifted into the air instantly, and even before it comes down, it's already falling to pieces. Yep. And so the individual pieces just sort of fly all over the end of the, the hall, uh, mm -hmm. like far away from where the rest of us are. Yeah, yeah, it's and, uh, it's, it's flown like ten feet, and it's and, and it's its bones are like scattered over a wider area than that. Yeah, and there's this sort of putrid, but really old. Like it, it smells like um, a mix of like gunpowder and uh, some old incinerator that's been filled with garbage for 300 years right and uh it's sort of cloud comes into the air for a minute and it's very showy yeah and yeah <laughs> nice um and uh 
Elma the Great uh, wrote in chat. Uh, what did you What did you say? Do you want to Do you want to do that one? Yeah. Well, so do that uh, joke. <laughs> what, yes. Yeah, so when When it goes explodes and his bones go flying down the hall, he says Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so. Spring, right. there is no longer any uh, immediate threat uh, to you. There is a, a skeleton um, about 10 feet away from you, uh, and you still have movement left if you want to enter that that space and, and become a threat to it, then uh, that would be fine. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, move up. Move, move into the range of this bastard. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Uh, so you you've uh, um, you know uh, replaced the skeleton that you uh, <laughs> blew apart and uh, and are now threatening this other one. It is Uma's turn. All right. Now you are one one poison splash away from unconsciousness. Uh, minus one, so it's a 16. Oh, there it is. Yep, uh, 16, and that will hit for sure. Uh, that is 15 damage. Um, and uh, I would like you to still roll that, uh, that's D, uh, d20 for your deck save. And you make Ooh. it, uh, this thing. <laughs> How does it how does this thing die? You know, this is the last the last skeleton. How does it die? Um she for flavor purposes, I know I use my great axe, but she she puts her great axe to her side and um she literally kicks its ass because she was told to kick its ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um and that is that is the end of combats. Uh Yay. The victory yeah. fanfare plays. We get victory. We get a total. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We get a total of two hundred XP uh, yeah. for the uh, for the battle. Two hundred XP divided by five, um one six, two three seven. four five six seven. Okay. Seven. Okay. Um, this is the seventh. Spring. Yeah, there's, there, there are There's definitely seven here. Right. Two hundred divided by seven equals uh, uh, twenty. It's it's twenty eight point five seven. So is that twenty nine for everyone? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, twenty nine for everybody. I'm so close. Two hundred eighty experience points. <laughs> so close. Wow. <Yeah. laughs> I'm thirty one from level three. Oh my god. Nice. You need to find so a rat or something. A powerful <laughs> wielder of magic. Or a 67 plus 29. And do they, do they explode in loot? Yes, they are. I'm just adjusting says, look, stuff. They're exploding with loot. Um, and I'm going to... Uh... Let me just mark that down. There, uh, as as these things uh, die, um, lyric. By the way, e each time they die, there's a whole bunch of like shards that fly out of them. Uh, we tally them up at the end, but uh, certainly these uh, these things uh, will come out of the the dead bodies um, as they as they go down. Uh, where did yes. my calculator go? Okay. Oops. So, Uma killed one, I killed one, Spring killed one, Kushi killed one, but we're not yeah. keeping count, right? We haven't really been. Okay. You, you just counted. Oh. Counting is I, difficult. I did, but I'm not keeping track. Right. That's the difference. <laughs> Thank you, Uma. Uh, You're right. Counting up the shards, uh, you can you uh, will need to carefully pick through the the goop um, 
but as you move these uh, shards out of the goop, they are magical, uh, and and most of you know this already. Uh, and they are are magically cleansed as you take them out. Ah, good, good, good. Um, so there are thirty eight uh, in total, um, and you can divide that as however you want. Alright, so five each, and then there'd be one left over, right? right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you. Sounds about right. Yeah. Three left over. 38, you said? Oh, so there's three left over. 38 total. Yeah, so there's three left over. Right, so there's three left over. Um, so. Who... I say we give it to Lyric. Like a welcome present. Yeah. 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 Welcome to hell. Give all three of them. Oh, thank you. You know, Ben O'Hell was such a fun place. (laughs) Welcome to hell, Lyric. (laughs) Yeah. So everyone gets five (laughs) except for Lyric, who gets eight. Um, And and mark down on your character sheet that you have eight, uh, like, light shards. Um, Light shards is a good way to say it. Yeah, because these ones are light, not dark. Yeah, it's true. Do not confuse them with the dark shards. Dark. Are we calling it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> have we actually had any dark shards? We have okay. not. We have oh, not. Yeah. Um, so. Lyric, you are the the freshest one uh, from from the uh, from under the the peach tree, um, and <laughs> you were just. Uh, just ex- it was just explained to you a couple hours ago that this this particular dungeon um basically it generates light shards the other one the material abyss oh yes is the one with the dark shards so i don't know if you guys if you want to uh pass that that's uh knowledge on or remind them cuz they were also privy to this information, but that was months ago. It was uh, a really long time ago, so yeah. I, just, I, I know I forgot. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's, there is that. It is um, 10.52. Uh, it's just about time that we, we uh, 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 started winding down. Um, looking through these skeletons, you don't see anything necessarily, uh, um, uh, you know, valuable on them. Um, unless, unless you count, like, the weird disease icker. (laughs) There are some, there are some weapons. There's some, some old short swords. They are perfectly usable. Um, there's short bows as well. They, yeah, well, they basically have armor scraps on them. Yeah. Uma's going to go back into this room and, and spin three times in a circle and then sit down and knead, knead the ground where and she says, Uma needs sleep now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> or uh, take one of them short swords, I guess. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm good. All right. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm adding a short sword. Uh, Brain will walk over to Uma where she's sitting, and uh, I gotta rest for a moment too. Mhm. And lean up against the wall, and sit down. Cool. And uh, so our intention here, uh, when we get back, is to uh, take take some kind of a rest, right? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. If that's okay with people, I would like to yeah. have a short rest, if I may. A yeah, long rest. <laughs> I think a long, yeah, I, I would like a long rest. Maybe a great rest. <laughs> I not... wish we were. I wish we could go into a forest where some of the things we killed we could eat afterwards. That would be cool. We can't eat all these skeletons and zombies and things. They're all so diseased and undead, nasty. Mm-hmm. Now you have you, we been hungry yet? You have not been hungry. hungry. 
Um, some of you even we're have dead. like rations and stuff like that oh, for, I know, for I know. whatever I reason. Want... But none of you have ever, uh, f like while you were here, ever felt the need to really sit down and and eat something. Yeah, but I do now. I it's an aesthetic need though, not yeah. an actual. A... I, I want to play my my wire and and uh, eat some huge beast and share it with my comrades. Yeah, there hasn't really yeah, been probably drink something anything made out of properly out of meat, has there? Uh, no, yes. not at all. <laughs> the closest thing were the damn hands. <laughs> oh, uh, quite a while ago, the this party yeah. came across these um, these fire spiders. Um, oh yeah, and uh, Kay remembers those. Yeah, so uh, those had meat on them. Whether it would be tasty or not is a, another matter. <laughs> oh. uh, but, uh, so there is the possibility still of, of getting uh, some kind of tasty meal. And uh, yeah. you, you sort of realize, like, not being hungry, you can be a lot more selective about your meals. <laughs> too. If something doesn't taste good, there's no need to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so I guess uh, that is that is our that is our game for the night. Yay! Thank uh, you. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah. I wonder if uh, anyone would like to uh, plug their their whatever they're doing. Nothing. There's no one else here but us. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we're <laughs> we're uh, we're gonna have a, a YouTube video uh, going up as well. Yeah, if you want. So if you later. want to, yeah, yeah, for sure. Two weeks from now, we'll be playing this again. Plug, yep. plug, plug. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Two weeks. Two right. weeks from now. We'll cool. Back. And by then, it'll be springtime, and everybody will own you. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, awesome. And eat meat. And eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, and I, and I, have, I have good news to brag about. I got my uh, vaccination today. Oh, hey. nice. Hey. Wicked. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to a rave tonight. Oh yeah? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, I am not. Yeah. I am not. I, I, it might take a little little while for the uh, vaccination to actually kick yeah. in. No. <laughs> they may have, said, may have said two weeks, but I, I I thought they said two hours. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. By the time you finish this game, it should be all settled. <laughs> yeah. We need a second dose. Hope so. No, yeah. it's uh, it, it's the less effective Johnson Johnson, but gotcha. They say oh, it's yeah. still really effective. So. Right. Better than All nothing, right. I guess. Well, yeah. Yeah. I guys, will. I will talk to you guys uh, uh, in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Did you guys say bye. Bye. good? Good night. What's that? We must say bye. Uh, bye, guys. Bye, everyone. <laughs>